what's up guys welcome back and in today's video we are taking a look at this xbox controller this is the uh enhanced wired controller from power a uh, they did send me out two controllers for me to kind of showcase and review uh, it's not a paid review or anything like that i just wanted to share my overall thoughts on the controllers now that i've been kind of using them on and off for a few days um, if you guys have any questions, let me know down below. If you guys want to pick it up for yourselves, link is in the bio. And if you find this video useful, informative, drop a like for me and subscribe to the channel for more content in the future. But with that said, let's go ahead and roll into the video. Again, let me know if you guys have questions. All right, so the way your controller comes, it's in this little box right over here. Uh, you're gonna get an USB cable right here so you can plug it into your Xbox or you can plug it into your PC as well. And then you're gonna get an instruction manual as well so you can learn how to set up and use your controller, but it's pretty easy. I'll teach you guys how to set it up. And this is the controller that I'm currently using. I really like the design actually. Uh, the, the buttons are pretty easy to press. They're very tactile. Um, they do stick out. They don't feel like they're mushy and you can hear it. It's very clicky. The bumpers over here are very soft to click and I really like the paddles as well, even though I will say they kind of feel a little flimsy. So I feel I can't guarantee, but I feel like after a long period of use, it's probably going to well, it's going to wear out pretty quick. Uh, the sticks feel pretty firm and feel really nice. Uh, the middle of the button over here kind of looks like it's just a little piece of plastic with a paper underneath it. So it doesn't necessarily look very I would say kind of like high quality, but it is a pretty budget controller that looks really nice actually. So here we have the controller. I'm looking it up on GameStop and honestly, $24.99, it's not that bad for what you get. Uh, let me go ahead and get into the details though, why I think this is a solid price for this controller here though. So to set it up, it's actually really easy. Just plug it in the back and then just plug the other end to the, your Xbox Series X or just your regular Xbox. Uh, to turn on your Xbox, you can just press that middle button once and then your Xbox will turn on. So one thing that is really good about this controller is the fact that it has these paddles on the back. So you can program these little paddles to pretty much be uh, to replace any button here on the controller. So let's say I want A to be on either one of the paddles. This is how you would program it. You would hold this button right here on the back and then watch this light right here. So I'm holding it. And now it's blinking. That means it's ready to be programmed. Which button do you want to program in the back? It's asking basically. So let me go ahead and hold it again. So I want the A button to be on my right paddle. And then you just press it and then it goes back to light. So it starts stuttering, and then once you press the button, it'll start stuttering a lot quicker. And then after that, you just press the one on the back. Hopefully that was pretty easy. If you guys have any more questions in regards to that, of course, let me know down below. But now I'm gonna go ahead and press ready. So I can press this little button right here on the back, and then it's ready over here in the back, which is pretty cool. Honestly, it's pretty handy that it has the little back paddles. And for 24 bucks, it's really good. I actually really like them, especially for Apex. I'll be jumping with the uh, with the right paddle and with the left paddle, I'll be sliding. So it makes it, um, so instead of playing claw, I no longer have to play claw. I can just play normally, but I can use the paddles on the back, which is pretty cool. So one feature I will mention is that it does have the rumble feature, which of course, in my opinion, is pretty important when you're playing controller. It's a feature that I really actually enjoy. And there in the back, I'm pressing the jump button. And as you can tell, it's jumping just as we programmed it. So I don't normally play controller. So that's why I don't really use controller too much. I play mouse and keyboard on Apex. Um, I play on PC. So if you guys see me kind of sucking right now, it's mainly because of that. So one thing I do like a lot about the controller, of course, it's the response on the buttons. They're very easy to press down and they're very responsive as you can hear they're a bit clickety i guess it's to be expected i don't really like the clickiness too much of the controller even though i have mechanical keyboards but you know it is what it is some people might like that the paddles on the back are very responsive they're really good they're accurate as soon as you press them you know there's very, there's like no input like whatsoever when it comes to the points so i really like that and again i've mentioned that i haven't really owned the controller for that long so i will say that you know, when it comes to the drift on the sticks, that's not something that I can't report on to be completely honest. 
Um, but I mean, it is controller. So at the end of the day, a lot of these controllers will go through uh, stick drift. Again, if you guys are asking down below or anything like that, I'm not really sure on what the situation might be. Uh, if you guys do own this controller, maybe you guys can let us know in the comments how the uh, sticks have handled after long-term use. Uh, I think if you play multiplayer games a lot, you probably will kind of run into the whole stick drift issue either way but again it's hard to say you guys let me know i don't really play too much of multiplayer games i just mainly play single player games on my console so there's that so there's one thing that's really important for me to mention in regards to the controller so i tried this on both the purple one and i tried this on the gray one it's the mic input i don't know what it is but whenever i plug it in my mic just i don't know if it creates some sort of buzz or what it is but it's just non-stop it, it highlights as if i was talking which i wasn't talking at all but that's what it does whenever you plug in the headset it just lights up as if probably it's making some sort of noise on the other end i'm not really sure um i tried this on both controllers with two different headsets and none of them worked unfortunately which is very disappointing because if you're using this for online gaming then this is not a controller you want to go with because from my experience with two separate controllers, this just was not reliable. So again, that's pretty much for me, unfortunately, because I play a lot of multiplayer games, it is a no, no. So if you guys are looking for um, a controller for you guys to speak to other people with, this is not it. I, I, I just can't recommend this, especially considering I use both and both has some sort of mic issue. Uh, and again, I tried it with two different headsets and they still didn't work. So again, just keep that in mind. Of course, not every controller is the same, but just from me experiencing it with two new controllers, that's enough for me to not be able to recommend this to you guys. So why would you get this controller? So let's say you're someone like me who mainly PC games, right? So I already have a headset that's just dedicated for audio. And then I already have a microphone that's just for my, um, you know, mic audio. So they're two separate things and I don't really need one for both. So this is something that I can just plug in and play and I don't really have to do much. I can have my paddles and it's very cheap and it's still a very reliable controller. Again, I can't really comment on how reliable or durable it might be in the future but as for now it seems to be working just perfectly again maybe i'll revisit six months from now what you know you guys could ask me maybe in the comments six months from now and i'll be happy to report back on how well this is doing but it's twenty dollars honestly even if it lasts me six months i think that's a pretty good investment in my opinion of course uh, but yeah i think those are pretty much the general most important things i could say in regards to the controller so if you guys have questions let me know down below i'll be happy to answer whatever questions you guys might have but again you know when it comes down to it if i can't speak to my teammates and i'm and i'm just somebody who's using this on my xbox series x i think that's very important and i just you know i couldn't recommend this to be honest again if you guys found this video informative in any way uh let me know like the video and if you guys want to check out more content in the future um subscribe to the channel as well but with that being said guys i'll catch you guys on the next one i have a team that's coming over here so i i gotta go okay bye